Hey, good morning everybody. Hope you're doing great today. Um, I've got a few really cool things planned for today. I'm going to Lynchburg, uh, developing a dress-up bowl kit for the Mitsubishi Evo 8 and 9 platform. Uh, we're kind of just tweaking what we've already done, uh, expanding upon the kits that we already have available on our website. So really looking forward to that because one, I'm getting to drive an Evo. I've never driven one before, so uh, that's exciting for me. And two, it's not just any Evo, it's Ben Lin's Evo from Gears and Gasoline. So the same one where they did the big road trip series and it went all around the United States, up into Canada, all that. And also the same one he has set up for track events. Um, so that to me is kind of like, I've been looking forward to this for like the last day or two since we've planned it and everything. So um, going to Lynchburg, doing that, developing the kit, that's the main plan today. We'll be developing the kit at Driver Motorsports. So you guys will get to see some of that facility. I'm sure some of their cool cars that they have working on right now and probably available for sale soon, if not already. Um, so I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited. Thanks for coming back. Um, I know that first video was a little rocky. Uh, I'm trying to get better uh, with my technique and my equipment. So, but the more you guys like support me, um, it just helps keep that, that motivation going. So thank you again. Uh, with that, we'll jump into this. Yeah, let's get started. All right. And there is our fun ride for the day. Ben with Gears and Gasoline has been kind enough to... Sorry, I'm trying to park and talk and it's not really working out. Has been kind enough to uh, let me borrow his Evo while they're out in Colorado shooting for grid life. Um, so, I am dropping the truck off here. And we're gonna transfer everything, get all the tools, all the video equipment over in his Evo so we can go make a uh, dressable kit. I'm so stoked. I've actually never driven a, um, I've never driven an Evo before, so this is, uh, this will be my first time. I'm really excited to see what it's like. All right, guys, check it out. I am in the Evo. I'm super excited. Ben, again, thank you so much for letting me use this. Um, so we're gonna now we're gonna head over to Driver Motorsports. That's where we're gonna um, develop the kit. They're kind of those guys are kind enough to uh, let us use their facility. So we got a lot of friends helping us out to. Uh, to develop kits today, so it's really awesome, and we uh, we really appreciate it. So, all right, first impressions are like, I it's very like solid. I feel like I'm not used to it, and I don't know Ben if you've got like a short shifter on here or what, but I keep thinking that I'm going into uh, third gear, and I'm like, nah, it's not over far enough. It's not over far. I keep checking. I'm like, oh okay, no, this is fifth, okay. So just really different from my BRZ. I did a lot of travel, I guess, with my BRZ. We're almost a driver now, so um, I'll get it pulled in, do a walk around, everything like that. So we'll see you there. Oh, man. You guys starting doing some vlogging? Me? Yeah, yeah, yep. So that's why I got the camera. I see you guys are redoing the calipers. That looks good. Okay. We found a dyno sheet in the car. This makes 650 wheel horsepower. 650? Wow. To so all four wheels. That's insane. You guys are doing like a lot more of this like, I don't want to call it maintenance because it's more than maintenance, but it's like restoration. Beautification. Beautification. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks real good. I saw your post, or the post yesterday, like the before and after. So that's insane. Yeah. Yep, so we got uh, gold covers to go on here. Nice. We're gonna use gold bolt, dress up bolts, of course. Of course. Uh, we're just gonna clean this up, make it nice and silver. Yeah. Put that around so the HKS reads the right way. Oh, yeah. And then all the intercooler piping is getting wrinkle coated black. Okay. Nice. Yep. We're gonna do our thing on the engine bay. Use a bunch of dress up bolts. Oh, yeah. 
polish up all that polished stuff. Uh, polish the radiator, polish the catch cane, polish the swirl pot, strut tower bar. We have a, a wrinkle gray we're going to do on the covers. Nice. So that should look hot. And then we're going to leave the intake manifold silver. Okay. It's got a oil, great, uh, Grex oil cooler. Oh, yeah. And then this is a Cusco sprayer. It's got a water sprayer. Oh, really? Yeah, Just to it's keep. So cool. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah. I ordered some new uh, hood pins. Like oh, a nice yeah. style, not these old janky things. Yep, yep. The arrow catch ones. So. You guys got any specs on like what it's doing now? Like as far as power? The power, torque. Uh, no. Anything like that? It, no. It's got a power FC in it, but it needs to be retuned. Okay. Um, like we drove it yesterday, and it's like clean, so it's a little bit on power. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So we're going to uh, retune it. Yep. And the last one with these turbos made five twenty-five or five thirty-five. Okay. So hopefully we'll be in the same area. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Oh man, you guys got some stuff in here now. Yeah, man. Whoa. Okay. I figured you could just pull in here, do your thing. Yeah. Um, just this is a perfect space. Yeah. It just it looks like a whole lot better than when I'm like taking pictures and I'm like in a dra gravel driveway or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to get that working. <laughs> you know. Oh man, nice lights. Yeah. So what, I mean, are you guys gonna have, I know the dyno goes there. Right, there's gonna be dyno and then like a little viewing area for the dyno. And then I think like park two cars in here, I think is what like the plan is, like an extended showroom type thing. For like this way, okay, nice. Um, and then the bathrooms are gonna be here. Okay. And then, oh, that sucks, these boys. Oh, leaking. Making a mess on the brand Come new. Come on, yep, brand new. What the brand heck? Brand new. Well, this is not <laughs> brand new anymore. Um, and then back here is just going to be workspace and hopefully like a uh, alignment machine, tire machines. Whose GTR is this? Uh, it's a customer car. Okay. Um, we put brakes on it yesterday. Um, just did a bunch of service stuff. We have some new tires we're going to put on it yet. Nice. Check out those calipers. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, man. Nice and fresh. Yep. At the back Looking too. good. Oh, yeah. Get you a nice cross breeze going through here. All right. Let's get this. In there. Let's see. I'm just gonna give you guys a walk around here. Um, so, if any of you guys know Gears and Gasoline or Ben Lin then you've definitely seen this car on their channel featured. This is the um, the car that Ben drove um, cross country up to Canada and um, also the one that he's taken to multiple track events. Um, I think most recent one um, he ended up going off a uh, little which is why <clears throat> you got like the front lips a little miss is missing and a little bit of dirt over here so um what i'm getting ready to do is is i'll show you guys real quick is you see all this rusted hardware in here or you've got like mismatched hardware um you know or even over here he's he, he doesn't have anything in in these locations so what i'm gonna do is is i'm gonna go through the whole engine bay wipe it down, clean it up, get it looking nice, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to replace everything with our polished color of titanium hardware that we have. So everything will be unified. Um, as far as the style, the color, he'll never have to worry about rust again. We want to take care of some of these rust scenarios where 
you know, he doesn't have to worry about a bolt breaking or, or something happening while he's going around the track. And uh, if he needs to take stuff off, it's really easy. He never has to worry about corrosion or anything like that. Or, um, so that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to start detailing this, cleaning it up, making it look nice for marketing material for dresser bolts. And, um, but yeah, then we'll go from there. But uh, give you guys one last look here at it. Uh, nice before. And once I'm done, I'll pick everything back up, go through everything, show you guys what the engine bay looks like, final results. Um, so uh, I'm going to get to work. All right, now we got everything cleaned up in here, looking much better. Um, I'm gonna start replacing all these rusted bolts throughout the engine bay. Yeah, so just look at the difference that makes. Like that, that's crazy. This is same location on the other side. That's what's there, now that's what's there. And that's why I love doing this. Small little details, man, transform like an entire engine bay. So a lot of people underestimate little details like this and like how big of an impact they can have, but like it's it's insane. I mean this is just every time I do this, it just blows my mind at how good that looks. Alright, prime example of why you want to switch everything over to like titanium and you don't want to really deal with corrosion with any of your hardware. Um, I was undoing this headlight bolt and it broke. It was rusted all the way through so it just took half a crank and came right apart. So with titanium you never have to worry about that so we're gonna get this out now and uh, get the new one in so glad we uh, glad this happened here and not when he had this at the track or something like that and needed it or need to take it off or something like that and get screwed so um, we're going to take care of it now the worst part about it when they break is they don't break off flat so you can really got to try to find the right angle and get it centered as best you can And above all, what you don't want to do is break a tap off. Okay. So that back and forth motion you're doing, that's the, like the correct way. Just slowly yep. ease it in. Yep. Just okay. Let, just let her eat. Huge shout out to Ed from Driver Motorsports for coming out here and helping me drill out that broken bolt. Getting getting the new titanium one threaded in now so that we don't ever have to worry about that happening. So something I should have been doing that I wasn't doing, um, but if you all are ever dealing with um, rusted bolts, rusted hardware or anything, um, use this here. It's PV Blaster. This stuff is great for like loosening up rusted bolts. What I've gone through now is I've gone through all the hardware that I'm still need to replace and I've sprayed them all down with that. So um, hopefully we won't run into that same issue again. We're just gonna keep on trucking here. So we, we've gotten a, gotten a couple in so far. All right, check it out guys. Look at how good this kit ended up coming out. We cover just about everything you can see in this car with titanium hardware. So Ben, your Evo, man, it is loaded up. We got the battery nuts here, all the coil pack hardware, cover on the front and in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but. And it ended up turning out pretty good. 
So we'll have new products for this, for the Evo 8 and 9 platform coming out here in the next couple weeks. Now we just need to get this out of here, get it down the road, back in Ben's hands, and uh, head home. All right. All back. Again, thanks Ben for letting me borrow it, man. Really appreciate it. Um, we're gonna be working on those new Evo kits. Hopefully have them out in the next couple weeks. But um, I, it's already, let's see. It's already 8.30 and I still have a lot more work to do. So um, I've gotta go over now to the shop and get hardware for more new kits on the way. So I'm gonna go do that next. Hey everyone, um, I uh, I just got home from today. Um, it's almost midnight. I'm I'm sitting in my office right now, kind of scrubbing through the footage to see what what we have so far for the video. And um, I just wanted to take a second to kind of reflect on today. It was um, it was a really cool experience, Ben. Thank you again for letting me drive your Evo really appreciate it um, and letting us use it to develop more products for dress up bolts um, and then driver motorsports thanks for letting me use your facility your tools and thank you for your time when I needed the help man appreciate it um, it was a uh, it was definitely a successful day um, a lot of hard work but uh, that's you know that's what it takes so um, hopefully you guys really enjoyed the video. I've got more stuff planned that's coming. Um, we've got uh, Cars and Coffee on Saturday, uh, along with uh, I am shooting a promo video for Dress Up Bolts. It's for the new uh, 2019 Veloster. And then I'm going to a night meet that night. I don't know if I'll bring the camera or not just because this camera doesn't do well in low light so um, it's probably going to be too hard to really see what's going on but we'll, I'll try it. I'll give it a shot, bring you guys along and um, who knows maybe I'll get some footage that I can't include. Um, but anyway thank you guys again for watching. Be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button Follow me on Instagram at seth.brz um, and check uh, check out Dress Up Bolts Instagram out as well. And check out our website. We've got tons of titanium products, hardware kits, shift knobs, valve sim caps. We're, we're developing products like crazy right now. So really exciting stuff. But uh, with that, I'm going to get off of here, close it out. Hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.